Today we are going to talk about Alpha M doubling down on being short, being better than being tall. The delusion and mental gymnastics he has to go through is pure comedy. Trust and believe. I wasn't even going to talk about it since the original video is about 4 years old, but he decided to double down on it. 4 years later, he made another video about this, claiming science supports his position. <laughs> it is time we address this, guys. You can't call me cop dismantler. Today, guys, this video is for you because I'm going to go over a few surprising reasons why you, being short, are better than dudes that are tall. But I've also got a little bonus for you short kings that want to look a little bit taller. At the end of this video, I'm going to go over some of my favorite style tricks to visually look at least like five foot eight. I love how he starts his video of it. Oh, being short is better than being tall, but I will tell you my secrets to look taller. <laughs> Wait, I thought being short was better. Care to explain why? You have tips and tricks to look taller if you love being 5'6 so much. <laughs> See, his mask of hope and delusion is slipping. He's like, despite everything I do, if I can't get you to cope like me, I will tell you my secrets to look taller. <laughs> Brother, are you trying to convince us or yourself? We can literally see it in your face. I love being short. Your face betrays your words. His facial reaction here reminds me the guy who got rejected for 10 minutes straight and he's still coping at the end. No, no bar. Ah, uh, no. 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 Ah, uh, no. 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 But in short, it doesn't really matter. Same expression, the same bitter smile. You can almost see the truth leaking from the cracks of his delusion. That split second facial expressions is showing multiple times throughout the video. He can't hide it. We also gotta talk about the thumbnail before we go into his arguments. Brother, you gotta fire that editor. Whoever made this thumbnail, I don't know what the hell he was thinking choosing this thumbnail, like it proves his point or something. <laughs> Brother, you literally look like an adopted child of a gay couple. You can't make this up, man. But let's get into his arguments. The first reason why it's better, sexier to be a short man is that you have an easier time packing on muscle. Because when you have shorter limbs, shorter muscle bellies, when you actually gain muscle, it looks bigger and better than a tall dude. I used to be a big gym rat myself, so I know a lot of short guys actually believe this. Bro, I will tell you this, nobody fucking cares about your bench press. Maybe except other gym rats like you. And I love how he reduces being sexy to having big muscles. Number one, sexier cause muscles are gonna look bigger on you. <laughs> Meanwhile, there are countless studies proving that women prefer taller guys. I mean, this is just next level coping. So many guys say that to me, like, they could never get like hot girls because of their height what would you say i would say that i am a short guy five foot six and a little teeny weeny bit but if you're confident if you take care of yourself if you dress well you have a nice body and you're kind gentlemen don't worry about it you're gonna get the hottest chick in the room right you can't change it you might as well embrace it get comfortable in the fact that you're never gonna be six foot two and guys that are six foot two have no advantage in this world than you being five foot two yes you should be at peace with your height but being delusional is not the way to go about it the second scientifically proven reason why you as a short man are sexier is that you're gonna look younger longer all right when you're a short guy typically speaking you are going to look a little bit more youthful a little younger it say scientifically proven but there is not a single study showing this nor one that he cites but i do believe this somehow and that is because often short guys get mistaken for children that is why they look younger make your own decision as to whether it is a good thing or not well as you age as you mature as you get older the good news is that you as a short man are still gonna look younger than a tall dude who's gonna look old and just wrinkled and old what short guys don't get bald or they don't get wrinkles or something what am i hearing brother you are tweaking out look guys i am against leg lengthening surgery you gotta make your peace with your height, but like, don't put yourself in a laughable denial state like this guy. The third reason why being short is better than being tall is that chances are you're gonna live longer and have a lower cancer risk. A lot of research has come out that has shown that the shorter men are actually living longer than their taller counterparts. Okay, this is the only part he indeed has some studies on his side, but then again, the difference is negligible in my opinion. After age 70, who fucking cares? 
But if you want to go that way, there is also a study showing that shorter men are more likely to commit suicide. According to the study, 5 centimeters, which is about 2 inches, results in 9% chance in suicide risk. 2 inches for 10% chance. Cause of the fourth reason why it's better to be short. You as a short dude statistically have more action. And by action, I mean, who's your daddy? Yeah, that, that, that type of action. Research has shown that dudes that are 5 foot 9 and below have three times three times as much action than their taller dude. This is also pure cop. It is quite the opposite, actually. Oh, there's a study, yeah, one study, of self-reported participants in Hungary. <laughs> you don't know whether they are telling the truth or not. But when you look at the actual female preference, then you get the real result. The reality is that, and many females will not admit to this, but taller height is seen as better genetic quality. They can't admit to this, of course, so they will say, oh, it is because I want to feel protected or whatever, but the reality is obvious. The best way to find reliable data on height females seek in men is looking at the data coming from dating or hookup apps. I think that people will rationalize anything. Mm. I think that traditionally speaking, height is an indicator of good genetic quality and status. And people don't like to say that outwardly, so they say like, well, yeah, it's because of heels, but like how frequently are you going to find yourself in a situation where you're wearing heels? Now, why? Well, is it because shorter dudes feel like they got to work a little bit harder? I don't know. Possibly. But the other interesting thing about this is that short men also have a lower rate of divorce. That is because they can't cheat. I do believe this because they have no option but to stay loyal. Your marriage lasts longer because you don't cheat. And you don't cheat because you literally can't. That is the reason. I mean, I haven't looked up the numbers, but it wouldn't surprise me if short men get married more too. And it is because that's the only way they are gonna get some. A hot dude ain't gonna get married. But why? Why do shorter men not get divorced? Well, could it be that they don't cheat as much? Why don't they cheat as much? Well, is it because taller dudes have more opportunity with more spicy senoritas because they're tall and they're considered sexier? But research has actually shown that shorter men do help more around the house and are more conscientious. Is this supposed to be a compliment? Is this supposed to make short men feel better? I genuinely cannot tell. You stay in marriage longer, because you have no choice but to do more house chores. <laughs> you are like a chihuahua. Dude, what are you saying? And so this could also be the reason why they're getting more action. Another upside to being short is that big owls look bigger. Oh yeah, gentlemen, I'm telling you, you're a short dude, you've got an average owl or medium owl, right? On a short body, six inches looks bigger than on a tall dude, right? And so if you're a short dude, right, and you're like modest in terms of size, the good news is that you just stand in there being like, yo mama, check it out, right? She's gonna be like, damn, you're hung like a king. This is also incorrect. Because the average for short men is not the average for tall men. Studies show among all the factors and physical traits, the one with most significant correlation to penis size is height. It is not hand size, ethnicity or whatever, but height. So the average is going to be bigger for tall men as well. And even if we assume what he said is true for the sake of argument, bro, like 6 inch is going to feel the same once inside. Like, imagine grasping at straws this hard. It is kind of sad. Oh, six inches is gonna look bigger if you are manlet. But unfortunately, it is not gonna feel any bigger, my guy. That is the problem. The reason why being short is actually more attractive than being tall is that you are viewed as more approachable, more likable, and more friendly. True, but once again, that is not a good thing if you are a dude. Because the reason you are seen as more approachable and friendly is because you are not intimidating. You are not seen as a threat by anybody. So yeah, of course you are going to be more approachable. To which one are you more likely to approach? A pit bull or a chihuahua? A lion or a house cat? Which one are you going to approach? People of course are going to be friendly to you. Because nobody is going to think you could possibly steal their girl. He's five foot four. I think we all know somebody like Joseph Rosenbaum, the Napoleon complex, the little guy who just wants to chatter. It's like a little dog. Bark, 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 bark. But really, ain't gonna do anything. 
being short is freaking incredible. It's awesome, and I love it. And it's not something to be ashamed of. It's not something to be embarrassed about. It boils down to you feeling good about who you are and confidence. One of the things that absolutely breaks my heart, when I hear a lot of guys talking about their height, they treat it like some sort of like handicap, right? It's like, oh, I'm short, it upsets them, it makes them feel insecure, and they feel like, oh, I'm not going to be able to get the girl, I'm not going to be able to do X, Y, and Z. It is definitely a handicap. To say it is not a handicap is scientifically wrong. By the way, I agree with his message. You might as well make your peace with it. You can't change it. It is a genetic trait. But to tell short men they are not at a disadvantage is lying to them. He conveniently forgets to mention all the studies that came out and point out to the advantages of being tall. There are so many of them. CEOs tend to be taller. Presidents tend to be taller. Tall men have a lesser suicide risk. They are more likely to be promoted at work. They are less likely to be victim of bullying at school growing up. So on and so forth. Now, I am not suggesting that it is the end-all be-all. And use your short height as an excuse for everything, but yeah. It is definitely a disadvantage in a very highest society we live in. Think about it, it is more socially acceptable to make fun of a dude's height than his ethnicity, both of which they didn't choose and cannot change, or a woman's weight, which can be changed through self-effort. To claim stuff like, oh, being 5'2 is better than being 6'2 is just laughable. But this is all for this episode, and I will see you guys in the next one.